Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to get IPTV Smarters application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. IPTV Smarters is a live TV player that a lot of people use and it works really stable with a lot of IPTV providers. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get IPTV Smarters to your TV device. So first of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you have to go to search on your device, click on it, and there in the search bar, start typing the loader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings, and let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options here, which just appeared. So we open them, make sure it's enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here, turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only the apps which are available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So go to the list of apps on your device, Open the loader, wait until it actually loads, then on the left side menu make sure to click on home, and here in that search bar we need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again the whole code is 28907, make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes, cause obviously if you make any mistake the code is not going to work. After that click on go. And now, in a couple of moments, the website is going to open up for us, and while it loads, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content on Fire Sticks. And of course, please hit the like button to help us develop our channel. Then, when the website opens, just scroll down a bit until you see a list of categories. There it is, and from the list you have to click on IPTV Players. There it is, click on it. Then, a huge list of apps is going to open up for us. You just need to scroll down a bit until you find the IPTV Smarters Pro application. There it is, let's click on it. Then some kind of ad might open up for you. If it does pop up, don't click on open because that would mess everything up for you. Instead, click on close or on X depending on what kind of ad you see to close down the ad. So at this point, we click on X 
and now a new web page should open up for us. Yep, there it is. And we also have to scroll it down. So let's scroll. Keep scrolling until you see that download button right here. That's the button that we have to use. But if for some reason it doesn't work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now, just click on download and wait until download starts to your device. Actually, it doesn't take too long usually, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, it's pretty fast. Now we should be able to start the install, yep, click on that button, and wait until IPTV Smarters is installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That should take a couple more seconds. Yep, we're good to go now, so don't click on open yet, instead press on done, cause here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device, so click on delete, and then delete once again. This way we are saving up some free space on your Fire Stick. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. Then we have to scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll find IPTV Smarters, which is exactly the app that we just downloaded to your Fire Stick. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, just use my link below the video to get 3 months of service totally for free. Then we finally open IPTV Smarters, wait until they load, there you just have to select your device type, obviously it's going to be TV, because we're using a Fire Stick, click on save, and from here it's actually really simple. So if you have a M3U link, which is by the way probably the most popular way to add a IPTV playlist, then you click on M3U playlist right here, add any name to your playlist, and then later on either upload it as a file, or click on M3U link, and in that bar you gotta enter the link that you got from your live TV provider. Then you just click on next, and click on add a playlist and it's going to appear in the list of playlists on your application. However, alternatively, you can also use Xtreme Codes, which is another quite popular way to watch IPTV. You would click on that option, add any name, and then once again, you enter a username, a password, and a link that you got from your IPTV provider. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. And pretty much that's it, that's the easy way to get IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick or Android TV. Enjoy and see you next time, bye bye.